This is uh, another binary tree problem. Here uh, you are given a binary tree and you have to find the maximum depth of binary tree. So clearly if you have a binary tree like that, so depth here means uh, how deep you can go. Maybe there was a node here also. So in that case, th this is the deepest path, the leaf that is farthest from root. So in this case, depth would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So how do we calculate it? Again, it's a recursion problem as like many other binary tree problems. So let's see how we can solve it using recursion. So uh, remember that we had talked that in recursion, we have to solve for some function in terms of n. So here let's say n is nothing but h, the height of the tree. So we have to think of given f h minus 1, how we can solve h. So remember that uh, we have height, which is this one. So this path will go from root and it will take one of the children of root. Maybe both have same height, but, but at least one of them will have that path. So now let's say we have to calculate maximum depth from here. But let's say you are given maximum depth from 2 and 3. So 2 says that uh, the maximum depth from me or maximum height from me is 3. And the right child says that the maximum depth from me is 1. So this root will see that if I take this child, I will reach the deepest. So, so given uh, the solution for 2 and 3, you can find the solution for 1. So this was the concept that we had talked while uh, studying how to solve recursion problems. Now, f h minus 1 will depend on f h minus 2 and all the way up to f 0. So what should be 0? For 7, the height will be 1, depth will be 1. And if it goes further to one of its children, its left child will say that I have a depth of 0 because it's null. Similarly, right child. So base case would be that if it's null, then 0. So this is the case when node is null. So now uh, this problem is clear. Let's say we have to write the max depth, max depth, and we are given a root. So base case is if root is equal to null, then return 0. Else what we will return 1 plus max of these two, max of this depth and this, whichever is max and one for this root itself. So one plus max of max depth, same function recursively, root left and max depth of right. That's it. And our recursion function is complete. So let's write it down in different languages. So first let's write down in C++. And our solution is correct. So let's submit. And the solution is accepted. And it's 8 milliseconds. That is better than 96.42% submissions. So now let's see what is the time complexity here. So here we are just doing one traversal of this tree. So uh, it's just visiting each node once. So time is of the order of n and space can be in the worst case, it can be of the order of ON due to that stack. It may be a linear kind of tree and not very balanced kind of tree. Then all of these will be in the call stack. This will call this, this will call this, this will call this and so on. So space can be of the order of N. Or in you can in general call H max, maximum height. So now let's complete it for other languages.
and the java solution is also accepted and it's even better 0 millisecond now let's do it in python 3 And the Python solution is also accepted.